Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about an upcoming graphics card, the Radeon 7 from AMD, and we're going to give it a little bit of an opinionated comparison. And I stress opinionated because you always need to wait for reviews, hands down, even if the companies say that the cards are roughly on par with each other, which AMD says they are. Nvidia seems to think the AMD cards are already old news before they've launched. But let's assume that AMD is telling the truth and recent leaks, by the way, point to the cards being very similar in performance. We're going to look at why the AMD card, the Radeon 7, probably isn't quite ready to compete with the RTX 2080 at the same price. So the TLDR here is that NVIDIA just gives you more features, but I want to go into a little bit more of those. The first one comes from CES of this year. Now, if you remember, uh, if you do have an NVIDIA card, maybe this actually affected your monitor purchasing decision recently, but 10 series, which I have a 1070 here, and 20 series cards now support FreeSync monitors. Now, there is a certification process, and if the monitor is certified, G-Sync gets turned on by default. And NVIDIA is calling the uh, implementation still G-Sync. Uh, while the monitor may be a free sync monitor in the NVIDIA control panel, it's still gonna be called G-Sync. And it only is on 10 and 20 series cards. So this 1060, for example, is not gonna be supported, uh, at least not in the near future. I can't really imagine them ever supporting something like a 660 with free sync, just because of how old it is. It would have been nice to see nine series cards do that as well. But the 10 and 20 series, the really current generation of NVIDIA cards do support FreeSync now. So if you get an NVIDIA card, you can currently run adaptive refresh rate, whether it be FreeSync technology or a G-Sync implementation with a monitor with a dedicated module. You can do both of those with a 10 series card, whereas the AMD cards are stuck with just FreeSync. And that's important right now because keep in mind, AMD is trying to compete with the 2080 with very similar performance at the same price. So at that point, it comes down to more than just the frames that the card is rendering. It really starts to come down to features and that's one leg up for the NVIDIA card. Now the other leg up for NVIDIA comes from, and I hate that I'm saying this, but ray tracing. It's not that ray tracing is this developed awesome technology right now. It's that ray tracing a year or two from now might be a much bigger deal than it currently is and the RTX 2080 gives you access to ray tracing, whereas with the Radeon 7, it's just not gonna be able to do it at any kind of playable frame rate whatsoever. You're gonna be stuck without ray tracing permanently with that card. And the reason that's a big deal is really simple. You, you can turn it off. Uh, with an RTX 2080, you can at least play around with it. A lot of the games that are coming out with ray tracing support will be playable at playable frame rates with the RTX 2080. And if it's a single player game that you just want some eye candy with, then turning on might be a great option. But if it's a multiplayer game, maybe you wanna turn it off so you can get those higher frames, the NVIDIA cards give you access to that, whereas AMD just doesn't right now. So again, it's just another feature in the basket for NVIDIA. It's not something you have to use, just like the FreeSync support. It's not something you have to use, it's something that you can use. And understand that I really hope the Radeon 7 does well. I really do. I uh, First of all, I like AMD as a company because I kind of like to root for the underdogs. Uh, the rise in boxes above would kind of indicate that I definitely am okay with AMD as a company. I just think their price is a little bit on the high side. And it looks like based on the cards manufacturing costs, at least estimated costs, specifically with the implementation of HBM2 memory, it doesn't look like AMD is really able to drop the price. It's not a case of they have this card that they want to compete with the 2080, so they price it at the $700 point. They do want to compete with the 2080, but I'm sure they would love to have seen their margins good enough with the card that they could drop the cost another $50 and really undercut the 2080. If we go over to Newegg here and look at $700, you can buy several RTX 2080s. So you have this gigabyte version, which has three fans on it, should be a solid cooler on that card. Maybe not the best out there, but it should be solid. You have a Zotac one with a blower style cooler. That's probably not the option you want. But this Asus Dual RTX 2080 says, uh, see the price in the, uh, in the cart. So I'm gonna do that. 
But if we look at the cart here, it is $710 right now. And again, should be a solid cooler going back to the other page here. We have an MSI card at $710. So the point here is that the RTX cards are equally as cheap as the AMD cards. And I really shouldn't say cheap because they're not cheap cards, but they're of equal cost very near equal performance though i'm sure amd would like us to think that the uh, amd card does a little bit better in gaming i'm sure nvidia would say the same thing about their rtx 2080 again this is why it's important to wait on reviews if you're watching this the day this video comes out i don't think reviews are going to be out you need to wait 24 hours before you make up your mind completely but this is again assuming like the leaks seem to indicate these cards are very close to on parity with each other and for the same cost and the same performance I just don't think the Radeon 7's a compelling option right now. But of course, this is more about having a conversation and I do wanna hear from you guys. What do you think about the Radeon 7? Is it a little bit too expensive like I think or do you think it's right where it needs to be? And if you're an AMD person, this gives you that high-end option that you've really been craving for. Let me know down below. And of course, if you like this video, hey, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are helpful to the channel. I'll leave the uh, social media down below. And of course, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.